I am no fan of Alex Jones. The man's a first-class fabricator, and after what he did to Michelle Malkin in Denver, he's definitely on my list. However, today Jones and I are in the same foxhole fighting against the liberal censorship machine. Jones has been banned for hate speech. Translation, Facebook hates what Jones has to say. Now, this is clearly a bunch of left-wing bullies trying to silence anyone who stands for freedom in America. One tactic of the enemies of freedom is to dominate the dialogue. Honest debate on the issues is the last thing the left want. Their godless, immoral policies are offensive to anyone with a sense of decency, so their plan is to simply not allow the morally decent position to be heard. Sadly, people are very susceptible to propaganda, and just like their communist heroes, the liberal left have become masters of propaganda. So, what do we do? The primary social media, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google, are all controlled by hardcore left-wing militants. They have blocked me from receiving ad revenue on 90% of my videos because they don't like my God and country way of thinking. Now, this is a thorny situation. First of all, these social media giants are all privately owned, which means they can shut down anyone they choose. However, their militancy is having an effect on national security. Now, one possible scenario is that they could be sued for their ongoing, consistent abuse of Christians exercising their free speech rights. That is a civil rights violation, just like abusing blacks was back in the 1960s. Now, I don't watch the nonsense from Loudmouth Jones, but I will defend his right to speak nonsense. In the past 18 months, conservative people on Facebook have seen a 93% drop in traffic to their site. The silencing of conservative Christian voices is definitely a threat to American freedom. I'm not sure how this is going to end, but I'm certainly not going to give up the fight for faith and freedom in the USA. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America bless God again.